Kang Stig, without a doubt, but one of the most powerful characters in all of One Piece. Yet something that confuses a lot of people is how Shanks lost his arm and why he lost it. And how someone as powerful as him got his arm bitten off by a sea king. Well, in this video, you're gonna find out. So, in the very beginning of One Piece, in Luffy's flashback, his original flashback, before the past with Ace and Sabo was revealed, we saw that Shanks lost his arm protecting Luffy from a sea king. Now, there is an in-universe explanation for this given by Shanks, because when he talks to Whitebeard, Whitebeard does mention that it was shocking that a man like him lost his arm while in the East of Blue. Now, the reason for this Shanks gives is that he was making a bet on the new era. Now, while in theory's explanation-wise, this sort of justifies it, but in the end, it's still hard to believe someone as powerful as Shanks wouldn't have just knocked the thing out with Conqueror's hockey, stopped it with Armament hockey, or just grabbed the Luffy and swam away. Well, the reason is actually pretty simple. According to Oda, he originally did not intend for Shanks to lose his arm at all, but his editor at the time said it would be more impactful and better writing for Shanks to lose his arm. So, this isn't really about whether or not Shanks could stop it. Shanks could easily, in my opinion at least, stop that attack. Because I do believe Shanks had hockey at the time. I don't know about King hockey, but I am 100% sure he at least had basic armament hockey. And I find it very hard to believe that he couldn't stop it by coating his arm in armament hockey. But now we have our explanation. Shanks would have stopped it. However, the thing is, is that Oda's editor told him to make Shanks lose the arm. So, it was Oda's editor's idea, it, so it doesn't necessarily make sense. I would also like to point out that I find it very hard to believe, even for Oda, that he knew Shank would be one of the Yonko at this time, because he originally only intended for One Piece to run for five years, so he probably didn't intend for Shank to be this amazingly big and hyped up character with incredible powers. Jank was probably originally just supposed to be the important character, that was, the character that was important to Luffy, that died and lost his arm, and to make Luffy flash back all sad because no character in One Piece can have a, sad, a happy childhood. They all have to be miserable. No, I'm kidding, but really. But so yeah, it was Oda's editor's idea, and so that's why Jank lost his arm. It wasn't because he was weak at the time. It wasn't because he couldn't block it, it wasn't because he didn't have con conquered hockey, and it, was, and it wasn't really because of the bet he made. That is, the bet he made on the new age is the in-universe explanation, but in the end, Shanks lost his arm because it was a decision by Oda's editor. But guys, I hope you guys learned something from this video, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please get, leave it a like, and remember guys, to like, comment, and subscribe, and above all else, have a great day.